Hello, hello, Gemini. This is so bright. Hmm. I'm going to do a daily on you guys. Just ask some questions, um, some questions about you guys and something that you guys, maybe you weren't aware of it. All right. This is not going to resonate with everyone, so please do not get mad if it's not your story. This is going to be for the sun, the moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right. Spirit. Of the earth, water, fire, and air. This is going to be for November the 7, 2020. All right. This is for the ones that's dealing with a new love. Let's see what's going on. What you like about this new this new love? Let's see if you have somebody new. New love. And what you dislike about this new love. Mm, and what you fear about this new love. Mm, this new love. What you like about this new love? This is someone is, that wants to move to come and waters with you. Maybe you guys was on the outs with this new person. And what you like about this person? This person want to move to come and waters with you. And what you dislike about this person? Pouring all your emotions out to this person? Hmm. And what you fear is committing. Hmm. All right. Tell me more about the Six of Swords spirit. But for this new love for Gemini. This is someone that wants to move to common waters with you. This is someone new that I guess they haven't got off the ground yet. Tell me more. Tell me more. This person want <clears throat> the person want to send you a message. This is someone that wants to move to common waters with you. This is what you like about this new person. You want this person to send you a message by moving to common waters with you. And what you don't, what you dislike about this person is pouring all your emotions out to this person. Tell me more about this ace of cup. You see this person as your twin flame. Some of you guys are sexually attracted to this person and you fear pouring your emotions out to this person. All right. What you dislike. You see this person as your twin flame. You dislike pouring your emotions out to this person. Okay. What you fear about this person is committing to this new person. Hmm. Tell me more about this. Why is cancer fear of committing? This is someone who wants to sweep you off your feet. And you're, you're sad right now. To commit to someone. Okay. Reason why you don't want to commit to this person right now. Because you are sad. Right now, about someone that used to be committed to someone else, and you're sad. That's why you don't want to commit to this person right now. You sad about an ex? All right. Mm, okay. All right. The next one is going to do old, old love. What you dislike about that person? What you fear about this person? Okay. What a cancer liked about the old person not cancer i'm so sorry gemini what did gemini what did gemini like a love about this ex what did they dislike about this ex and what did they fear with this ex okay <clears throat> what you like about this ex hmm some of you guys were dealing with pisces you feel like this? You liked about this ex or this person was mysterious to you? Tell me more about this high priestess. You tried to control your emotions. Somebody hiding something from you. And you see this person as an ideal partner. So what you like about this ex? You see this person as the king of pentacles. You, you see this person as um, a stable relationship, you, a serious relationship. You see this person, <clears throat> what you had liked about your ex, you, you saw this person as an ideal partner. You saw this person as this king of pinnacles. Mm, you saw this person as a generous provider, a serious relationship. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> what you dislike about this ex? Toxic. You saw this person, someone very toxic. Some guys were dealing with a Capricorn, or somebody's toxic. And what you fear, what you fear about this person, you fear this person walking away. All right. <clears throat> you, 
you see this person is someone very toxic. Tell me more about this. Mm. What you dislike being patient with someone you know is already toxic. <laughs> what you fear is this person walking away, making a decision to walk away. This is what you fear. All right. Okay. A message from this person. Some of you guys are waiting on a message. You're waiting on a message from this person. You're waiting on a message. You're waiting on something from this person. So, let's see. You're waiting on a message from this person. Mm. And what you're going to like about this, just like about that message. And what you're going to fear about this message. All right. You're waiting on a message from this person. And they're stressing you out because you're waiting on this message from this person. You're not getting in a sleep because you're waiting on this message from this person. Tell me more about the nine of swords. Because you know this person very controlling and very have a big ego. So you're fearing this message from this person because you know this person is very controlling. Okay. What you're going to dislike about that message is going to break your heart. Hmm, tell me more about this. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more. Tell me more. Hmm, starting something new with this person. And that person will break your heart. That's what you uh, dislike about this message. Okay, what you're fearing, this person going to be hiding something from you. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. <laughs> yep, you feel like that person going to betray you because that person going to be hiding someone from you. Oh, you're talking today, Spirit. You is talking today. Yes, sir. Hmm. What is um Gemini desires? What is Gemini desires? What are they desiring? Gemini desires. Mm -hmm. What are they gonna what they gonna what they dislike? And what are they going what are they fearing? What is Gemini fearing? Come because I need to see. <clears throat> what are you desiring? Someone to rush in and fight for a relationship with you. Hmm. Don't tell me you're not. <laughs> okay. And what <laughs> what you go what you dislike? Some of you guys are disliking a cancer pipe to Scorpio or Libra. You disliking a this person? Tell me tell me more about this King of Cups. Why are they disliking this King of Cups? Because this person's flirty and like to be seen. And that's why you're holding yourself back. You're protecting yourself. So, <clears throat> what you desire is someone to fight for your love. And what you dislike, you have to protect yourself from someone that's already flirty and like to be seen. And very, somebody, <laughs> a Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, or Libra. Somebody's in this energy. And what you're fearing. What is Gemini fearing? Being left out in the cold. You guys are fearing being left out in the cold. Tell me more. Tell me more about this. Your decision, your, your decision that you make will make you, uh, you will feel left out in the cold. Whatever decision you make, you fear that you will be left out in the cold. Hmm. All right. Soulmate. Gemini soulmate. Tell me what I need to see for Gemini soulmate. And what you're going to like about this soulmate. And what you're fearing about this soulmate. Okay. Gemini, your soulmate. Is a Pisces? Or this is someone that's hiding something from you? This is your soulmate. Tell me more about this, this, this soulmate. This is someone that's in and out your life. This is someone that you're trying to be patient with this person. Okay, I'm getting chills because my soulmate was a uh, um a narcissist. And this is what I'm getting from these cards right here. Your soulmate, my soulmate was a narcissist. This is someone you're trying to be patient with. This person's hiding something. This is someone going to be in and out your life. That's a narcissist. Please say that's not so. I have Gemini in my chart. <laughs> your soulmate is a narcissist, okay? What you like about this narcissist? 
The person likes to take action. This person can be very controlling. And what you're fearing from this person, feeling sad. Oh, Lord, no. Tell me more about this King of Swords. Mm, what you like about this soulmate, this person is feeling the repercussions of their actions because this person that took action on someone else. This is what you're fearing. <laughs> this is someone they were still holding on to. This is what you, this is what you like. You want you want that person. To, you want this person to feel their repercussions. Of, you want the, you want karma on this person. Amen to that. Okay. And what you fearing? Feeling sad. Tell me more. By someone that you had already planted your seed with this person. This is this is someone that you see as someone who met their financial goal in life. Hmm. Are you feeling a are you fearing being alone? You feeling sad about someone that you plant your seed. This is why you're this nine of pentacles. This is why this is a single card. This is why you're single, looking good. You you fearing being sad. Okay, I got one more, you guys. I know it's taking a long time, but hey. All right, Gemini. What is the situation? What is your situation? What you got going on right now? What is the situation? And what is the obstacles? And what is the lesson you're supposed to be learning from this? Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more. Okay, this is the situation. The situation right now, somebody want to move to common waters with you. This is the situation right now. And the obstacles. This person is toxic. Hmm. <laughs> what is the lesson you're supposed to be learning from this? You can't trust everybody. Hmm. Okay. The situation right now, somebody wants to move to common waters with you. Tell me more. Tell me more. This is someone that wants to take this leap of faith with you. This person coming in, trying to tell you some sweet nothings. <laughs> this is someone that you're in the cycle with this person. Mm, this is a situation. This person want to move to common waters with you. But you see, you see this person is very toxic. Tell me more about this devil. Tell me more. This is someone that had your relationship on hold. Mm -hmm. This is the one that you were very sad about. So you know this person is toxic. This is your um, your obstacles you're facing. You know this person is toxic. And your lesson you're supposed to be learning. Mm -hmm. Spirit, you can't trust everybody. Okay? Tell me more about this page of sword. Trying to be patient with someone that you had some kind of obstacles or drama with this person. And that person betraying you. And you don't trust this person. This is your lesson you're supposed to be learning. And you don't trust, you can't trust everybody. Someone, especially someone you try to be patient with someone. You know this person is drama. You know this person, you know this person going to betray you. <laughs> can't trust everybody, okay? If you need a personal reading for me, the information is down below in the description box. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Until next time, you guys. Bye-bye.